I was falling asleep to a dope of odd the other night and I saw this Lee Sin in his game. The most insane Lee performance I've ever seen. I looked him up. Of course, it's the number one Lee Sin. We did a video a while back and he is at an all time peak. 1700 LP on the Chinese super server. Best Lee Sin in the world. In this game, you're going to see why, guys. Learn his pathing. Even if you're not a jungle, just watch how he paths. Knowing how this lane works, this role works, it's going to help your lanes out. Going to know how pathing works um, and more specifically what to look out for when you're up against some of these crazy Lee Sins. Blue Gromp, Wolves. Then you've got an option after this. Sometimes he'll like to cheese out a bot lane gank, other times he'll full clear. Obviously with jungle, you need to be extremely creative. I think that's what separates um, these high level junglers is they're very creative. They think on their, on their feet and you can't predict what the hell they're going to do. Sometimes they'll full clear, sometimes they'll cheese level 2 gank. You do not want to be predictable. When you first lobby the jung elo junglers, they, they, they pick you there and you're like, it's gonna, you're going to full clear. He's going to arrive you know, at one side of the map at 320 or something like that. As we go onto the red buff, he's eyeing off a Zoe top. There's a lot of OTPs on the Chinese super server. So you end up getting a lot of these Katarina tops, Zoe tops. They're OTPs, so they only play one champion, and a lot of time for their lot their big streamers. Um so I'm gonna take out the red and start looking into the enemy jungle. Dopa playing the victor, of course. And Zoe just put a ward out, so he's then gonna hunt. Oh, this could be a good kill. Let's see. Doesn't want to risk it. He's going to check over on the blue buff, see if he can find the enemy jungle. He does. Mordekaiser jungle. Q lands. Can he get the Gromp as well? I wonder. Mordekaiser flashes. Beautiful. And you may think Mordekaiser jungle's troll, but... Ooh, 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 ooh. No way. No way. Lands the Q. Gets the Talon. One kill, he's got Mordekaiser Flash, beautiful tempo. Not sure if this crab is super safe. Zoe's put the ward out. And Lee Sin versus the crabs early is always a bit of a struggle without smite. Go against uh, Mordekaiser with no flash, you should be fine until level 6. Mord actually does very well into these junglers like Lee Sin. If you get some early tempo on full clears, and then at level 6 you can just ult him in and you can take the 1v1. The problem is, if you get behind early, you're stuffed. And Dopa, guys, he's currently 860 LP on the Chinese super server. He wants 2000 LP in rank 1. He said it on his stream, he's grinding. He's not going to the military anytime soon. Faker apparently might be boycotting Korean solo queue because of apparent Chinese inters in his game. But we all know the real reason, and that's because I'm going to Korea on Monday and he's terrified. He's terrified of the matchup, he's terrified of the embarrassment he's seen. I'm in really good form lately. And look. The news articles might say something different, but we all know the real reason. So we're making our way towards level 6. This guy's level 6 combos are the best out of any Lee Sin you'll ever see. So clean, so smooth. And I'm pretty sure the last review we did, it was just a nice stock standard games, but no crazy plays. I saw from Dopish's point of view a couple of crazy plays hopefully we'll see soon. And he'll be able to really show off what he's capable of. Let's crank. You've got a lead and you've got to land the hook. Flash is in. We W. Land the Q. Here comes the pike. Duke out on the pikey. Thank you so much, Jinathan. Sorry, Jinathan. Samira for tanking. Wave's going to shove in. And now he's going to start up the dragon. These high elo junglers, they're always doing something. They always have something planned, okay? I see too many lower elo junglers just running around. They alt tab as they clear a camp. They change their music. Then they go and they're like, oh, I need to farm till 6 to hit this power spike and then I'll gank. It's like 2 minutes before that. These junglers don't do that, man. They're always high tempo on the map looking to influence. Um, as we get the first dragon. And he knows the wave is slow shoving, so they could be able to cheese out on the gin. Beautiful. Perfect. As we find the pike. I don't know if we can kill the pike. We're one creep from 6. We hit 6 here. R. W. Just got the Oyo with the Iron Spike. It's not about Dopa there, no idea what he said. Ruby. Maybe he's talking about the blue buff. 
Need a translator, god damn it. Need to learn Chinese, maybe. Must feel good having Doper in the mid lane, though. He's as steady as a rock. He's not gonna hard carry the games, really. But you know he's gonna have good farm, good experience. As he's probably gonna die here just because I've cursed him. He lives. Past the curse is fake. And he's just gonna keep playing towards bot lane. You may as well. If Jin has no flash and you got a Blitzcrank. You notice Blitzcrank? It's weird. And I don't know why this is. Enchanters are very popular in my region, in NA, in EU. And then in Korea and China, it's all about hard engaged supports. Like Ali, like Blitz, like Nautilus, like Leona. Why do they not like Enchanters? Are Enchanters bad? Or is it just they like to continuously fight so you need these hard CC? I don't know. Level 7 at 7 minutes here. The tempo is disgusting. We find the pike. Q lands. W's out. Are you serious? That was a nice combo. He uses W there. Q just goes wide. Duke's out on the Mordekaiser. He has ult in 5 seconds. And he's not backing away from this flight. Blitzcrank. Lands the E. Gonna slowly, slowly play it in. Now he can, if he can find the talent, he'll do it. But he'll just stay on the Mordekaiser. Are you kidding? Ward, kick, Q, oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. This is why he's 1700 LP. Hit this, please. Oh. W, flash, gets the burn. I don't know if he needed a flash there, but he's not fucking around. 7 0 at 8 minutes. I don't even, we haven't even really interacted with Doper here yet. As we make our way in towards the Gore Drinker. Boots. He gets really beefy, right? His whole strategy gets beefy. You have plenty of damage on Lee Sin, but you go Bruiser. Um, and he's probably the best person I've seen that does it. Just utilizing his W, his last second Gore Drinker for the heals to bait people out and just takes 1v1s with the Red Smite. Lee Sin is such a good jeweler. You don't have to 100 0 them burst if you can just out sustain them. That's the pink ward if he needs it. He's going to queue over. Don't know how this chase will go. Ward's over. Q goes wide. Yeah, I don't know if why you. I don't know why we. Why are we chasing the talent, guys? Topside camps are up. God, I would have. I've laughed if he stole Dopey's camps there. Dopey's wave. We start up the Harold. Dragon probably gonna be the next objective as well. Get early tempo like this, always set up the dragons and the heralds. Lower elo players, I don't know why they do this with leads, but with their lead, they just want more and more kills and they don't set up the objectives. Do you ever notice that? You get a huge lead, your jungle's like 5-0, and he just keeps diving, going for kills. And then he throws the bounty, you've got no objectives, no dragons, and then you throw the game. It's so annoying. Make sure you're getting these Objectives with your leads. It's insurance, guys. You should always get insurance. Dragon and 30. Gonna use the Herald. I reckon he's gonna use it. I reckon I would use it bot lane. But let's see. Dopey can get a nice hard shove. But you've got to use it in the next three and a half minutes. If your jungle gets Herald and doesn't use it before the plates are up, then you should report them and leave the game. As top lane is always on a killing spree. These OTPs, I'm telling you. Dragon started, Blitzcrank and Samira, absolutely rolling bot lane. And I, you might not even need the Herald down there to pop it, they could maybe do it themselves. Let's see what his plan is. Has a ward to get over if he wants. Gonna hold it and run down into the bot lane. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Well, maybe he wanted to try and get a pick there. But he's going to run through mid to try and give it now to Dopa. Share it. 
Pike, Q, E, R, Q. Hold as a W, still has it. W, Harold. Door drinker, almost up. Gets exhausted. Q, lands again, goes in. Jesus Christ. Now Maud's looking for the 1v1. He gets ulted. Now Mordekaiser flashes in. We have red smite. We've used it. W to try and heal. Can we get out? Oh. oh my god, and he just lives. Hey, he just lives with one health. Not bad. Gets the triumph. And you want to heal back up off these camps. Jesus, that mod really was aggressive there. Opa! Opa's got it. Opa's not got it. Pike comes in for the ultimate. Q lands. Doesn't really want to risk it. And I'm going to link his stream in the description, of course, guys. It's so hard to give these Chinese players exposure because, like, they stream. They don't stream on Twitch. They don't really make many YouTube videos. They don't have an OPGG because they use a completely different website, so the leaderboard's hard to track. Like, it's just kind of annoying. So hopefully, me doing some videos on the players because obviously China, you know, one of if not the best server in the world, definitely highest ranked player base in the world. You'd think it leads to a lot of talent. That's a shame that some of them. Aren't even able to make a living, like a good decent living, even though they're freaks of a player. If they were over in NA or something, they'd be like just rank one getting insane amounts of money and views, but some of them just chilling on the Chinese server. We get the Hex Drinker into the double AP. Death Dance is usually a pretty good item on Lee Sin these days. Such a bro I mean, Death Dance is completely busted. Tech portals are so sexy. Doesn't use it? Just gonna run. Who is he hunting for? The Pike. What's his plan here? W. Q. Surely doesn't land. Does land. Q. Follows up. Gets the kill. And this is 1700 OP, and it looks like he's... Does it not look like it's a challenger player smurfing in, in like, Platinum or something? Just has full control. And I'm ready to see some insane kick combos. Let's see what he's got. Bubble. Doesn't land. Q. Goes white. Talon moves in on him. Not going to do much. We take the tower. Oh, a little bit too aggressive. Or not. We need the tower. We need the tower. Kick Q. Gets the... Jesus Christ. Can we get the pike as well? Dude, I thought he was in trouble for a second there. And he's just going to heal up. You can see how he uses these Ws. Heal up on the wave. And Dopa. Just piss chilling mid, isn't he? You want to try and hunt into the top side. Objective Bounty's turned on. That's what you want, is it, Dopa? He wants the blue buff, does he? Take it. There you go. Q. Dragon in 45. Wouldn't be surprised if he looks for a reset into the Drake. Nice standard macro. Dopa pings, he wants it, so he gets it. Dopa's very respected on the Chinese server, by the way. Death Dance completed. 15 minutes and 2 items. Tink watered up. We're loaded. Can't wait to play on the server, bro. And I know a lot of you are saying I'm not going to get a chance to play with these players because I'm going to be too low elo. And I just want to say to you, you might be right. But I'll be damned if I give up and don't try. I might humiliate myself and be the lowest ranked player on the super server. But I've been accepted, and I'm ready to battle, and persevere, as we take Talon down to 40%, and we're just going to play this team fight very slow, get the free Drake, <laughs> kicks the Riven over, says g'day mate, we'll grab the dragon for ourselves. Next 
check. Beautiful. Talon goes Gore Drinker Death Dance. Bruiser build is back. Remember I used to do that tank? There was that tank Bruiser build on Talon getting around for a little bit. What is these tank builds? As they have gotten the Baron. I cannot believe how fast they've done that. How do they do that so fast? Blitzcrank, nice hook, mate. Let's see how we fight, we fight this. Get right in the middle, hey? Qs are not landing here. Very awkward. Ws in. Good opt to just kick. Kick Q. Thank you very much. What is the tower for style points? Can he get the Mordekaiser? Flash Q. Does get the Mord for his 14th kill. Three dragons, 14 kills, death dance completed. Looking pretty doomed for the enemy team. Q max and a W max, guys. Lee Sin is a great champ. I mean, Lee Sin was probably the best solo queue champion to have when he was the strongest mid, top, and jungle in the game for a second there. Because you could just Q mid, top, and or mid, uh, jungle mid, mid jung. You always get Lee Sin. But they nerfed his landing stats a little bit, but he's still he's still playable. But I wouldn't really. I definitely think he's still good in the jungle, but in the lanes at the moment, not getting as much love as he was in pro play last year. And people think Lee's really, really hard because they see all these fancy mechanics, dude. I guarantee you, if if you're if you're wanting to pick up Lee Sin, and before every session you spend five minutes a day. In practice tool, practicing ward combos, um, just kick combos, your cues from different angles. Five minutes a day, in like one or two months, you will be an in insane Lee Sin player. Just put five minutes of combo training per day before each session and play Lee. But some people just don't want to put the effort in, and I understand that. You're back from work, you just want to get on a rank queue and go, 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 get the best teammates you can, all this, get the LP, you're going to get diamond today. But dude, Trust me when I say this, the fire investing five minutes into any champion you're playing and going into practice tour before each session for five minutes a day, it will compound ridiculously. In your sessions, you're gonna be more ready and more aware subconsciously of the combos you're looking for. Little pro little tip. We're almost, I would say we're mid game now. In setting up traps, Q's just getting thrown. Looking for the siege now. Let's crank gets bubbled. We're gonna land a Q one day, are we? Are we? Just zoning Q's. We get stunned. Mordekaiser gets the pull. Q does land on Talon this time. Let's see if he wants to try and take it. Doesn't have enough energy. Another bot lane wave come in, but it's not going to be... It's not going to be enough for them to siege it. Looks like they just want to try and set up the Nash here. Man, 160 farm at 20 minutes. I, a lot of the time, don't have this on mid lane, I'm not gonna lie. He's hunting for the flank. His team wants the base, but he's hunting for the flank. He has a really good angle. He's looking for the Jin. you can see. He's sniffing the Jin. Has the ward. He's still off of vision. He's waiting. Finds the Jin. Q goes wide. Jin cancels the ultimate. We still have ward kick if we need it. Q once again goes wide. Bubble... Gonna get hit, and this team fight is not looking the greatest. Q lands on Zoe. Another Q lands on Zoe. Team fight carried honestly by his team that last fight. He was more of a zone. Enemy team gonna FF the game, and boys, 1700 LP. Lee Sin one trick on the super server. Hopefully, you've enjoyed today's video. Dopa definitely pleased with that carry. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.